Can you look at me when I talk to you? Yeah. Brandon, you've been playing for two hours. Can you stop playing game? Yeah. You want to go outside? 
Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, whatever. Hey, Caleb. Yeah. How was online school today? Yeah. What do you mean, yay? Hey, can you put the phone down? Oh, come on. Hey, are you going to eat? Yeah. What do you want to eat? Yeah. Oh, come on. Nathan, when did you come? Oh, uh, yeah. Did you miss Uncle Ethan? Yeah. Hey, Nathan, can you stop playing game and you want to go outside? Yeah. Oh, come on. Does this happen in your home too? Kids are constantly on their smartphone or playing a video game like 18 hours a day. They just cannot get off these electronics. Hello, this is Pastor Ethan. As a parent like you, I'm having the same problem. Our children are spending too much time on their phone or video games. And it is very concerning. Since the quarantine began, it has been worse. Kids do not go to school, cannot go outside for any sports, and kids cannot even hang out with their friends. This not only hurts their body and soul, but it is very unhealthy. Kids need more exercise. But how can they exercise when they cannot go outside now? It seems impossible. Not anymore. This is why I made this incredible indoor kiss exercise video. They no longer need to go outside for exercise. With my video, everything can be done indoors. Matter of fact, this exercise video is so awesome. Kids will be like, mom, I don't need my phone. Or they'll be like, dad, can you give away my Xbox? It is boring. But the kids will also say this. Can you play Pastor Ethan's amazing exercise video again and again and again? That's right. That's how good it is. Usually this kind of program will cost you about $500. But don't you worry. I'm not charging you $500. Not even $400. Maybe just $100? No way. I give this video for free because Pastor Ethan loves your children, and cares about your kids' health. So kids, put your exercise t-shirt on and aerobic shorts, and let's get on it. Here we go. Grab anything. 
and pull, yes, pull, yes, pull, yes, pull, yes. Ooh, look at my bicep. Guys, do not stop. Do not stop. Now, we're gonna work on our pull. So what you do is turn. Time to work on our legs. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that feels really good. That feels really good. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo! That's right. That's right, kids. That's right. That's right. And boxing. This is a whole body workout. Boxing. Boxing. And dodge. 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 All right. All right. Great job, kids. Now we're going to cool down. You ready? One. Yes. Two. That was a great exercise. Great job, kids! All right. Good morning, kids. This is Pastor Ethan. Before we begin our service, I have to go change my clothes. This is so embarrassing. I'll be right back. I am back. Good morning, kids. Welcome to Sunday service. This is a Pastor Ethan coming from Evangel Chapel. I hope everyone is doing well. You know, after that exercise, I'm sure you guys are ready for the service. Today is a Sunday. Today is a Lord's Day. Today is a Sabbath. And we are all here. Well, you're home, but we're together through the internet. We're all here to worship the Lord and pray to God and we are here to learn about Jesus. Great. So let's praise the Lord and let God hear us. Hit it.
Great job, kids. What a worship. I'm sure God heard us. Amen? I love this song. This song is basically teaching us we do not have to be afraid of anything and we should not worry about anything because God provides his everlasting arms that we can lean on anytime, anywhere. What an amazing God we serve. Amen? He loves us so much and God is good all the time. Yes, all the time. God is good. Yay! Now it is a time to learn about the Bible. Past few weeks, we've been learning about Jesus dying on the cross for our sin and Jesus being resurrected after he died. Now I have some review questions for you. What happened at the moment Jesus died on the cross? Anyone? Yes, Lily. What is that? Yes, there was an earthquake. Here's a candy for you. What else? Yes, Juju. Uh-huh. Many dead people came out of their tomb and came back to life. Woo, that's a good one, Juju. What else? One more. We learned about this last week. What happened to the curtain of the temple? Yes, Caleb Yugesh. What? The curtain became the shower curtain? Oh, uh, no, sorry. Well, I'll give you one more chance, Caleb. Yes, that is correct. The curtain was torn in two from top to bottom. Great job, Caleb. But what does that mean? The curtain was torn. Yes, yes, yes. It means Jesus was the last sacrifice to God, so we do not have to kill animals to come to God. But now we have a direct connection to God through Jesus. And that is why Jesus is called the Lamb of God. Awesome. You know what? I'll give you one more, Julio. Great job. Today, we're going to continue on the resurrection of Jesus. After Jesus was resurrected, he appeared to a lot of people. Mary Magdalene, one of Jesus' followers, Mary the mother of James, and two other ladies, and two disciples on the road to the village called Emmaus. And he also appeared to all the disciples. And the Bible says Jesus was seen by over 500 people at once and many more. So today's Bible story is when Jesus appeared to Peter and other disciples when they were fishing. Fishing. That's right. Remember, many of the disciples were fishermen. And they went back to their original job because they did not know what to do anymore. Although Jesus was res resurrected, Jesus was not with them all the time. So disciples did not know what to do. So this story today is from the book of John, chapter 21. Make sure you read it after the service. They were trying to catch the fish all night, but could not catch anything. And the morning came, and this is when Jesus appeared. Let's watch this video. Good morning. Huh? Who is that? Who's that? Who's calling out? Have you caught anything? No! We haven't caught a single fish! Cast the net on the right side of the boat and you will find some. What is he talking about? We've been fishing all night. Apparently off the wrong side of the boat. There's nothing to lose. <laughs> what makes him think this is going to work? I have been running the sonar all night, and there are no fish anywhere near here. That is a fact. <laughs> Is 
Gizmo. It's Jesus. What? Teacher. Master, I... It... I know. Bring some of the fish you have just caught. Did you see Peter jump into the water and swim to the shore to see Jesus? That's how happy Peter was when he saw Jesus. But also, did you notice Peter could not say anything when he was face to face with Jesus? I would have given Jesus a big hug or I'll scream like, yay, Jesus! But Peter was like a little weird. Right? He was like, Master, I, I, right? Does anybody know why Peter was like that? Yes, Ben. Yes, Peter was embarrassed because, no, Peter did not pee in the water. Well, even if he did, it would not be noticeable because his entire clothes, clothes was wet. Uh, I'll still give you candy, Ben. Yes. Peter could not say anything because he sinned against Jesus. Remember the night Jesus was arrested? Peter was so scared, and Peter denied Jesus and said, No, I do not know him. And Peter did that how many times? Yes, three times. Peter used to say, Jesus, I'll do anything for you. I will follow you anywhere, everywhere. But that night, Peter lied and said he does not know Jesus three times. That's why Peter could not say anything to Jesus when he saw him. Peter really felt bad because he betrayed him. I'm sure when they were eating together, Peter could not say anything either. But this is what Jesus did for Peter. Let's watch. Lord, I... Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord. You know that I love you. Then feed my lambs. Simon, son of Jonah, do you love me? Yes, Lord. You know I love you. Then take care of my sheep.
Simon, son of Jonah. Do you love me? <sighs> Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Then feed my sheep and follow me. Peter denied Jesus three times, so Jesus is restoring him three times. Wow, Jesus is so awesome. What you just saw was Jesus forgiving Peter for what he did. Peter denied Jesus three times, and Jesus forgave Peter three times and restored him. Restore means bring back. So Jesus brought back Peter so Peter can continue to tell people about Jesus. Kids, when you forgive someone, that is an act of love. And Jesus is teaching us to forgive each other and love each other. Right now, if you're mad at your brother or sister for something, could you look at her or him and say, I forgive you and I love you? Come on, let's do it. <laughs> Jesus loves that when you forgive someone. Also, there's another thing we must remember. After Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? And Peter replied to Jesus, I love you. They did that for three times. And Jesus said, feed my sheep or feed my lambs. Sheep or lambs are people. Whether they believe in Jesus or not, God still cares about everyone. So what Jesus is telling us is, Love each other, care for each other, and lead everyone to Jesus. And you will do that if you truly, truly love Jesus. Let's just spread the gospel whenever we can or wherever you are, we are. Let us pray. Father God, thank you for showing your love and forgiving Peter and we learn that forgiving is love. Father God, you're so great. You not only die for our sins, but you continue to lead us and guide us. Lord, thank you so much. And we love you. Because we love you, Lord, we're going to follow what you tell us to do. We're going to obey what you command us to do, Father God. We want to go out and tell people about you. We want to spread the gospel to the end of the world. Thank you, Jesus. We pray in your name. Amen. Guys, do not forget the offering, right? It is very important to bring a gift to God when you come to service. I have to say, kids, I really, really miss you guys. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye. Hey, gotcha. It's not over yet. We didn't do the ticket drawing. So is it time for a ticket drawing? You know, I, I, since I miss you guys so much, I added one more prize. So it's the end of the April. So I prepared four prizes. And let me show you. The first one is a Mickey Mouse hooded towel wrap. You see? That's how, how you wrap yourself after shower. Number two is a bubble sticks. Once we can go out, you're gonna make as many bubbles as you want outside. Okay, that's our second prize. And third one, this is the coolest thing. This is a misting fan. You put water in there and you put battery in there and the fan will be turning and when you squeeze this, the water comes out and it's really uh, cool water and it's really good for summer. Now, last one, big bouncy ball. Look, 
very bouncy. So this is our fourth prize. Now let's get to our spinner, the wheel. Hey, you guys already know this uh, from uh, last month. I showed it to you. Everyone's name's in here. And we're going to be spinning the wheel. The first uh, prize is Hoodie the Towel Rat, Mickey Mouse. The winner is... All right, Srishan, congratulations. You're gonna use this after you take shower, okay? All right, now let's go for the second winner. Who's gonna get bubble sticks? No way. <laughs> you know what? This is a fair spinner. Jack Fisher, congratulations. Two months in a row. You get the prize. This is a, uh, yep, bubble sticks. Now let's pick our third winner. Ooh, this is a good one. All right, Sofia Torres, I hope you're watching this and you just won the Misting Fan. And the last winner is... Bouncy ball, bouncy ball. All right, Gianna Perez, you got this, the bouncy ball. Awesome, congratulations. And you know, we're gonna do this again next month. So until then, pray hard. Bye guys, miss you.